now we look at forming algebraic expressions. In this video, I am going to explain you how do you form algebraic expressions. So I would give you a statement that needs to be converted into an algebraic expression. Add 6 to 5. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, if I were told to add 6 to 3, I would have written it as 6 plus 3. Similarly, to write 6 to y, I do 6 plus y, and it can also be written as y plus 6. Let's take another one. Subtract 9 from m. Again, if I were to subtract a particular number from another number, how would I write it? Suppose I was supposed to subtract 9 from 15. I would have written this as 15 minus 9. So now if I have to subtract 9 from m, I would write it as m minus 9. Right? Okay, we've done addition, we've done subtraction. So let us do what? Multiplication. Multiply x by 6. Again, if this was 2 by 6, how would I have I written this? I would have written 2 into 6. Similarly, I write this as x into 6 or 6x. Next, division. Divide a by 5. So how do I put this? Suppose if I were told divide 15 by 5. How would I have written this? I would have written it as 15 divided by 5. So if I have to divide a by 5, similarly, this would be written as a divided by 5. Now this is the way basically you form algebraic expression. These were fairly simple and really there was not much which was involved out here. But in the second part of forming algebraic expression, I will explain it to you how you can form even difficult expressions using algebra. <laughs>